Okay, um, this is Trixie's litter. Uh, they are six weeks old. Um, and then these two are here, right there. That is Shotzi's two little puppies. So Trixie's litter. This is a black female. I do have a hold on her. She's got a lot of the poodle features. And then and this female is, uh, she's got a little, oh, nope, that's, sorry, that's the boy. I'll, I'll get back to him in a second. Where's my little female with the tan on her? Right here. Sometimes it's hard to see because she's got just a little bit of tan on her legs there. Her back, back feet. I also have a hold on her. She's got more of the, the Havanese features and as of today which is uh, August 10th this little girl is still available she's a chocolate with a tan what's called phantom markings so she's really pretty she's got a little more of the Havanese features more so than the poodle features and then we have this little boy right here He looks a lot like his sister. His little ears are up. He looks just like his sister, except for he's a little bigger than his sister. But, but he's got a lot of the poodle features, and he's available. And then in Shotzi's litter, we have this chocolate girl. She's pretty much solid chocolate, except for she's got just a little bit of white there on her chest. She's five days younger than Trixie's litter. And then last but not least is our little black and tan boy from Shotzi's litter. Again, he's five days younger than these other guys. And he is very playful and fun. And he's got, hey, come here, boy. I put this little baby toy I put in there. He's got beautiful tan markings but he is blind in that right eye it looks like it didn't develop properly in utero so it's obvious that he can't see out of it but that doesn't seem to be stopping him from playing and and just being a regular little puppy he doesn't know he's not supposed to see that he's supposed to be seeing out of that side of his head <laughs> that he only has he only has the one eye but he doesn't care he's like I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm still a playful puppy. I'm still a regular playful dog. And I do have somebody that's looking at him. He's interested in him. So, yep, this is the litter. Um, these guys should all be ready to go uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, first week weekend in September. The Trixie's litter will have be nine and a half weeks old. And uh, Shotzi's two puppies will be uh, just turning nine weeks old. So the nine weeks is the minimum that I will let them go home. But a lot of times Trixie's puppies are a little bit smaller like the little girl here. She's a, she's a little small on the small side. So I got to make sure that she's doing well and eating well. They're, they're eating soft food right now. And slowly getting weaned off uh, their mama's milk. But I, get a, I, got, I want them to get transitioned over to uh, kibble before they go home. So this is their little uh, playpen. I put them in when people come to visit, so they can you can kind of get to see them running around and playing and interacting with each other when when they do have siblings for. To, for them to play with and uh, and that right there is the potty pad tray with a potty pad in it they get uh, introduced to that um, in their in their pens and they they do pretty good at going on it they've they've got the idea that that's where they're supposed to potty at and um, so I do recommend if you're continuing with potty pad training that you get one of those because it keeps them from being able to tear up the, the pad itself it protects the pad from the puppy 
being destructive. This is that little girl. Now she's getting all playful. No, let's see. No, I'm sorry. That's the little boy. That's the little girl over there. Like I said, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between the two of them. Those are the two. Oh, this is the little girl. Let's. I've got a, a hold on her. What are you doing, little girl? And yeah, and this little girl. So you guys that have your holds on them. And these are your puppies playing. Like I said, she is uh, just turned six weeks yesterday. Um, and she just turned six weeks yesterday. She's trying to get to this toy. And the, this little boy here who is bigger than this little girl, actually, <laughs> that just turned six weeks. Uh, he is five days younger than her. He'll turn six weeks on Saturday along with his sister, which is this one here. So it's kind of funny that they're, even the ones that are a little bit younger are about the same size as this other litter. So. And they don't mind playing together. I just, I, since they're so close in age, I've been feeding them together and stuff, so. What you doing? What you doing? This is, this is a little boy. He's being real playful. He's still available as of today. He's still available. Like I said, this little girl's available. Little chocolate girl, and this little chocolate girl's available. With the wolf white on her chest. She has kind of somewhat more of a poodle markings for, you know, features. Uh, two puppies. Okay, well, that's it. Hopefully you guys get a pretty good idea of everybody. And um, if anyone is interested in this little chocolate girl or this little chocolate girl, or this little rambunctious little boy. Like I said, as of today, they are still available. I have holds on the two other two black females. And I'm probably going to be getting a hold on him this weekend. The little blind one. So, um, but we'll see. Thanks for watching.